before we discuss dividing by larger polynomials, such as binomials and trinomials, we need to review our division algorithm. The division algorithm teaches us how to use long division to divide large numbers. This is going to be the exact method we want to use to divide by polynomials. It says use the division algorithm to divide 6,584 by 28. In other words, how many times can 28 go into this number 6,584? In other words, how many groupings can we have if we divide 6,584 by 28? So first thing we want to start to do here is off the top of our head, we cannot think how many times this divides. So we are going to start with the method of dividing from left to right. In other words, with the number 28, we will look at the first digit underneath our division sign. That is the six. The question here is, does the 28 divide into the six? And that answer, of course, is no, because six is smaller than 28. That is impossible. So we move on to the next digit of five, including both the six and the five, the number 65. Can the number 28 divide into the 65? It doesn't have to be evenly. How many times, though, does 28 go into 65? That answer is 2. 28 goes into 65 twice. 28, 56. If I go any higher to 84, right, I'm, I'm over 65, so I need to stay at 2. I'm going to stay at 2. So I was able to go to 56, and I had to stop. So the division algorithm now says subtract 65 minus 56. And we will get 9. And now bringing down the next digit, we want to look at the very next digit. We, we looked at the 6, and then we looked at the 6 with the 5, and we divided 28 into 65. We had a remainder of 9. And so now we will bring down the next digit, 8. And with the digits 9, 8, we have 98. How many times will 28 divide into the remainder of what we have here? 98. 28, 56, 84. If I go any higher to 112, I'm over 98, so I will stop at the 3. 28 goes into the 98 three times. 28 times 3 is 84. 98 minus 84 is 14. Now we bring down the final digit under our, our division sign. We bring down the 4. So notice how we've used the 6, the 5, the 8, and the 4 while we divided. We divided the 28 into 65. We saw what, uh, what we had leave, left over, and then we brought down a remainder number. We brought down the 8. Then dividing into 98, we see that we stop at 84. 28 times 3 gave us the 84 to give us a subtraction of 14, and then we bring down the next digit, 4. And now 28 divides into 144 how many times? 28, 56, 84, 112, 140. And then anything over that, 168 is too high. So 28 goes into 140 five times. 28 times 5 is 140. And that difference is 4. As we've been saying over and over, multiplication is repeated addition. Division is repeated subtraction. So that's why we continue to subtract the remainder because the way that this starts here is we're dividing the 28 into 6,500. And whatever is remaining after that, we want to divide into the remaining 84. You were just continuing that process to divide what's left over once we divide into the larger number. When we say can 28 divide into 6, we're saying Really, overall, we're dividing into 6,000, because where is the six digit? It's in the thousands place. So can 28 divide into the six? No. Can 28 divide into the 65? Yes. So we know that 28 times some number 200 is going to give us this value. Now, what is this number? We see at the top we get 235, but at the bottom, what happens there? We subtract and we get four. There is no other digit to bring down, so four is our remainder. 6,584, if we divided that number by 28, we would get 235 groupings, 
with 4 left over. How would we write that expression? That is 235 plus the remaining 4 left over out of our division of 28. So that remainder that we have left over is a part of a number, and it's our fraction. So 6,584 divided by 28 is 235 and 1 7. Let's take a look at an example. Let's divide 3,713 by 22. We'll go to the full screen here. Looking for our, uh, using our division algorithm, 22, can it divide into a 3? Again, the 3 is a placeholder for 3,000. Let's, let's be mindful of that. 22 cannot divide into 3. 22, however, can divide into the 37, which again, the 37, now this is 3,700. 3,700. The 22 divides into the 37 one time. Right? 22, 44, 66. So we stop at 22. 22 times 1 is 22. So subtracting this, again, division is repeated subtraction. 37 minus 22 is 15. But now we bring down the next digit that we haven't used up top. We've used the 3 and the 7. Now we want to bring down the 1. And the question here is, how many times will 22 go in to the 151? 151 divided by 22. Well, 22, 44, 66, 88, 110, 132, 154. Can't be 154, so we'll stop at 132. 22 will go into 151 six times. As we just saw, six times 22 is 132. Subtracting this, 151 minus 132 is 19. Now we bring down the next digit, which is our last digit. And we ask ourselves, how many times will 22 divide into 193? 22, 44, 66, 88, 110, 132, 154, 176, 198. Can't be 198, so we stop at 176. 193 divided by 22, we get 8, and there's going to be a remainder. 8 times 22, again, as we saw, I uh, need to count that back out. It's 176. All right, just make sure 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 20 is 160. 160 plus 16 is 176. So now subtracting to see what our what we have left over. Uh, we get 17. Notice we have no more digits to bring down. Therefore, this division here wasn't a nice wholesome division. It's not that we had uh, 20 divided by 5 is 4. It was more of 20 divided by 6 is 3 with a remainder of 2. In this case here, 3,713 divided by 22 is 168. with a remainder of 17. R to represent remainder of 17. How would we write this numerically? This 17, what were we dividing by? We were dividing by 22. So this 168 is a whole number. This 17, however, is going to still be divided by 22. And we will see here that 168 in 17 20 seconds if you were to multiply this by the 22 then you will get the value of 3713 therefore that would confirm that we had our division correct but this is our division algorithm taking it one digit at a time as we move from left to right and remember that division is repeated subtraction 3235 divided by 15 use the long division algorithm to perform the division. 15 does not divide into 3, but it does divide into 32 twice. 2 times 15 is 30. We subtract to find the remainder. 32 minus 30 is 2. 
we bring down the next digit, three, to now ask the, answer the question, 23 divided by 15, how many times will 15 go into 23? One time. One times 15 is 15. Subtract to find the remainder, 23 minus 15 is eight. Bringing down the next digit, five. We want to know 85 divided by 15. How many times will 15 divide 85? 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. Can't go any higher. We, the next one would be 90. That's over 85, so we'll stop at the 75. 15 divides 85 five times with a remainder of 10, as we will see. 15 times 5 is 75. 85 minus 75 is 10. There is, no extra, there is no other digit to bring down here. Therefore, we will conclude that 3,235 divided by 15 is 215 with a remainder of 10. We would write this as 215 with our remainder of 10 over our divisor there of 15. As you see, the fraction 10 over 15 can simplify because both 10 and 15 have a factor of 5. You know that they are divisible by 5 because any integer that ends in a 0 or 5 is divisible by 5. 10 is 2 times 5, 15 is 3 times 5. So the factors of 5 cancel, leaving you with the simplified fraction, the reduced fraction of 2 thirds. So 3,235 divided by 15 is 215 and 2 thirds. We could also express this as 215 plus 2 thirds.